everybody, this is Stuart. And the begrudging Haley. <laughs> she she is very tired, does not want to be on this video, but I told her um, tough shit because we're going to be reviewing this wine and in order for her to have some, she has to be part of the video since y'all like it, so stay tuned. Hey everybody, this is Stuart and Haley. with Wine on the Diamond. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Con Cannon Cabernet Sauvignon from Paso Robles, California. It's 13.5% alcohol by volume and I paid $13 for it at H-E-B. Oh, and by the way, it's a, what is it? What year is it? It's 2016. Minor detail. Minor detail. The, uh, things like that matter. <laughs> there are good vintages. There are, are, are vintages that aren't, aren't so good. Um, but Haley is really excited to drink this, so I'm going to do my damnedest. It's Friday. I'm tired. <laughs> I want to be downstairs with my feet up, and he's making me do a wine review. That's why I'm excited to have it. It better be good. It'll be good when your feet are <laughs> It will. <laughs> anyway, all right, so let's go ahead and pour some samples. Alrighty, so, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I'll be good. <laughs> From a color standpoint, uh, it's pretty dark still. It's hard to see through. When you tip it, you can see almost like a red. Is that, would you call that ruby? I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna say it's medium ruby. <gasps> You're learning. I'm learning, and now I wanna drink it. Soon she'll get her W set. Well, not ever. Oh, yeah, what double set fam. No. All right, so from a nose standpoint. Ooh. Why was that woo worthy? So much berry. This screams blackberry and currant. Okay, that second one I got, the first one I didn't get almost anything. Oh, no. I'm tired, it's Friday. I warned you. I don't know if I'm gonna edit this video, I might have to do the whole video in full. That's fine, I warned you. So much berry. Getting black cherry, a little bit of plum. Ugh, okay, I'm getting berry. black I'm getting... berry. I'm getting black currant. But it's not like overwhelmingly no, smelly. No, but it does smell slightly jammy. Slightly right, jammed. but it's not like the, the way you're like overly dramatizing this. It's, it's almost like it's the very smell intense. is coming the at you. The primary fruit so. is very intense, but the smell is not that heavy. Well, I should say the nose is medium, but the intensity of the primary fruit in comparison to other things is intense. That's what I just said. See, W said it's right up your alley. Or you can say it doesn't smell a lot, but I get a lot of berry out of what I do smell. That's English. We've already established you on said this I channel. Could be snarky. I know. We've you already established on this channel that I cannot speak English. I speak Texan and I don't do that well. Uh, I'm trying to get some other things like secondary and tertiary, not getting any tertiary notes. And not really. There's like a slight touch of cedar, but there's really not much other than that. Is that what I'm tasting? I moved on. I know. I know. Yeah. A little touch up, but I'm really not getting it. May oh. Maybe uh, maybe also a touch of dark chocolate, but other than that, there's 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 really really nothing else. Move on. All right now I'm gonna <laughs> medium plus tannin tannin uh, medium plus tannins. You can speak today, I promise. Mm -hmm. They're actually not too rough though. Uh, they've probably been. I would say they've probably been micro oxidized. Uh. Fruit is very intense. There's really nothing there that... I mean, it's not like spectacular. No, but but there's also... Well, the reason why it's not spectacular is because you're not tasting anything other than just berries. Like, this is just a ton of berries in this wine. I would say full body, medium alcohol. Complexity, that's what... It's not very complex. Yes, yes. Full, Could not think of the word. Full body, medium My alcohol. My brain shot off hours ago. Medium minus finish for me. It's, hey. it's, it's there. Okay, so let's just get to the review. So, okay. uh, for... For balance, I'm giving you half a point. It needs more body and it needs more acid. I think it needs more body and more acid. Okay. Say it's a medium acid wine, uh, which I forgot to mention on the other thing. So uh, half a point. Uh, length, I'm not giving you any points for length. No, it's gone. Yeah, it, it finishes super that. fast, it, which is weird for a cab. That should not be doing that. <laughs> Uh, intensity. <laughs> I don't actually say Intensity, that. I will give you half a point for the primary fruit, but... There's just nothing else. 
There, nah, might, now I'm thinking there about might be a woody something in there. But probably not. She said. I, I'm, on the flip side, I, now I'm thinking about it, I'm not going to give you any points for it because it, it doesn't have secondary or tertiary. It's a 2016. It might be a little too early to show that, but I would expect some barrel notes for a red wine. Now, I'm not getting really any of that. Uh, we can read the description in a second because I know you you want to do that. I do. Uh, and then from complexity, it's not. I don't know how to rate that, but it's not. Yeah. But that being said, it's not a bad wine. Like I could sit there and just drink this casually. I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah. I'm not going to pour it down the drain. Yeah. Uh, so so going into the Blick, I think this is only half point. So it can be either bad or okay. I'm, I'm okay, okay with it. I'm, I'm okay, okay with it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Nothing it, spectacular. Yeah, exactly. It, I mean, I've had far more offensive wines <laughs> to drink. It's not Michael Fox. No. Matthew Fox. Matthew Fox, yes. No, Michael Fox. No. I mean, that would aerate the hell out of it. Like, oh my God, you went there. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, the Matthew Fox was bad. Um, Choco Vine. It's not Choco Vine. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of things <laughs> that we tried that are. are just, just disgustingly bad, but yes. this is not anywhere close to that. On the flip side, thirteen dollars and it being like, oh, you must buy this wine on, like, this won an award at Texom. Really? Yeah. So I'm wondering, who the hell judges Texom now? <laughs> because he should. And with that plug, I'm gonna let you finish up. I'm gonna go drink. Well, okay. So uh, I, we're gonna say it's okay, and that's where it's gonna stay. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had, well, I don't have it anymore because Haley went off to drink it downstairs. The Con Cannon 2016 Cabernet Sauvignon from Paso Robles. Be interested to know if you have, leave a comment below, and I'll see you all again soon with another episode for Wine on the Dime. In the meantime, I'm going to go watch some Schitt's Creek, and um, yeah, I mean, I don't even know if I'm going to have any more of this. I might. I mean, I, I don't know. Um, yeah. I'm, uh, once again, I'm just, just kind of disappointed. I'll see y'all later.